Um, good morning. I'm happier than a jaybird. Okay. My vibration went up yesterday morning. Skyrocketed like crazy. Um, so I was prompted to do this after mulling around in my own mind. Just things that, at least for me, are just not using logic is how energy works, how light works. Okay, so for me as a as a student and a teacher, okay, um, it's painful. I don't know of anything more painful uh, than when you love your students that come into your classroom. Okay, because why are you there? When you're running on infinite light, which is infinite unconditional love, okay, the amount of what you are aware of is infinite. So that means you can read an energy field of everything that's going on. That allows you to be aware of everything that's happening. The light exposes everything. You cannot masquerade in front of us. You can't wear an ET skin suit and try and hide that you're something else and then try and say that you're, you're what we are. Okay? We can read your energy. Okay? Because when you're running on as much light as we are, okay, and you're not, then we're experiencing what you are, which isn't what we are, because your energy is a lot lower than ours. So that begs the question, what happened to you? How, how come you're not running so much love in your heart? Okay, so that is, if you will, the Paddy Bissard, the commander of the Earth Defense Forces, a shaman, okay? So who else is going to know more about energy medicine and healing than a shaman? Okay, so that's why the tribes and the clans ascended, or already ascended beings, Okay, come in here to do what? To help you navigate. I call it Star Trek navigating. So you can get up where we are. So that's a learning process. Learning how light works is real simple. Okay, do you love who you are? And what we're really saying here is, do you love the energy that you are? Well, if you don't, we will certainly teach you. Naturally, genetics and DNA play a big part of that. But with my DNA, I know that to fully activate everything that was put in there by the girl on the planet that put it there, I want to be running a high-speed wave. That's a lot of juice. That's a lot of electrons. Okay? Magnetic fields that power the current. Become a star. Become a goddess, become a god, to run a planet ship, a classroom, have a classroom of your own. Okay? All you got to do is look around in nature. Who do you think's running that? You know how it is that all the brooks and the rivers and the oceans all are in harmony to provide what? I call it a fun zone. Okay? I had an experience that was unbelievable that always reminds me of the universe I live in. When I was living in a treehouse on the North Shore of Kauai in 1972, I was on a surfboard right out in front of a place called Hyanna Beach. They condemned the land to kick us out of there because they said, you're not going to live like a native Indian on this planet. What does that tell you? The predators. Okay? We had our own garden. I was living in a treehouse, and we had a blast on that, that side of the island because the surf on the North Shore of Kauai is beautiful. And back then in 1972, when I was out on that board one day, uh, the water looking down was the, at least 100 feet. It was clear. I could see the sand bottom. Okay? And when I looked up to what's known as the Poly Coast, go straight up in the mountains, was plush green watching a waterfall, I realized I'm living in paradise. Unbelievable. But you also acknowledge that they don't want you to live that way because they don't want you to experience that much energy. They don't want you to experience the spectacular magnificence of the universe. That's called perception. The perception through which you experience who you are in the universe that you are a part of. Okay? So when you're running that much light, that's what it feels like to experience being in our universe. Okay? You're in love with it. Because you're in love with your energy that you're experiencing it with. Okay? That's what the light is. It starts with light. Go watch videos with Dr. Robert O. Young. He'll tell you blood starts with light. Builds bone and tissue, right? So you want to be alkaline and not acidic. Acidic, low frequency. 
So your body is trying to you know, keep you your battery charged, and then people are trying to kill it off. Dead batteries versus living batteries. So they children never learned all this. I remember uh, Kanaka Mahole in Hawaii told me, man, our children learned this by seven, age seven. And that's the biggest crime in my book from a teacher and a student's perspective. Children on this planet did not learn how to be a light warrior at an early age. Which simply means you're burning hot. The energy, <laughs> purple light. So, for what it's worth, when I was a child and I realized reading my first newspaper, hey, how'd I get to, into this place? It's like walking into a movie set, a horror show. Well, that's not my universe. So that's a frame of reference, isn't it? The one I know that my mind, body, soul, and spirit lives in, and the one that's communicating to me of the one they live in. Hey, man, I want to go home. So I realized that a lot of children probably never experienced that because when you're running that much light, you're aware of everything around you energetically. You can map and read the field. It's distorted. Well, how come it's distorted? Because the energy is all over the place. Those waves are not in harmony. They're not in peace with each other. So you've got to restore the sanity back. So the people are in a state of peace. They're in a state of harmony. Those waves are in harmony. Man, you love your music. Dance to the stars. That's what the Indians do. Star dancers. That's why we're here. Okay? That's why I've always suggested, you know, if you want to recover what you lost, like I told a friend of mine last night, one of the reasons I'm here, and I know that I was led here by Sophia, was a guy that shattered so I'm trying to help him recover the pieces that he lost as a result of all the demonic entities that have been feeding on his energy. And he's done a miraculous job. I love him to death for everything that he's doing. I could cry buckets of tears that I'm even here to observe and witness and be a part of something so beautiful. That's what it means to heal. Because you love your life that much and you know what happened to him and why. And by who? Well, the by who, it's over. So I notice that a lot of people are grasping at straws. Go to SECHI, S-E-C-C-H-I. The U.S. Navy's got their own video library up there. And if you go back, heck, all the way back to 1997, when I was prompted, hey, go look to see all the guys that are coming in here. The light forces did not come in here and kick their ass upstairs to then all of a sudden leave humanity to the vultures. Logic and common sense would tell you that's not, how we, that's not how we operate. We came in here to liberate this planet from what they were planning to do to humanity. All of us. So we weren't going to allow that. The earth does have a defense for us. Okay? The tribes and the clans are indigenous people to this planet. So all you have to do is, and you can tell by the way that we live, okay, I'm inside a box. See this? This is a box, a concrete box built with dead wood. I prefer to be with a living tree that's alive, power generator, okay? So you learn something about how energy works when you see Indians, okay, and indigenous peoples living in the trees the way that they do because it's an energy equation, it's the energy that they know that they're getting from the girl's battery in the planet. How did that get lost? They just didn't know. Programming and the electronic weapons that were used against them to program them. Okay, and that's simply a result of running lower density consciousness. And as a result of that, you're just not aware. This is an energy war, which is an electrical war, which is a war over consciousness which essentially means that your consciousness is experiencing something that represents what they are, not who we are, which is what love is, which is what light is. And that's beautiful energy to experience. Obviously, they don't run that energy because in their mind, you're food. We're food. Okay? And use the trauma that we experience through them 
to drain our batteries, and they use it against us and its food. But at some point, people got to wake up, don't they, and realize the light is here, and the victory has already been won. Okay? Um, so what I've always suggested is reconnect your soul to the girl spirit in the planet. Uh, keep your energy high. Um, and that means pH. And try and do the things that you know that give you the greatest passion. Uh, raise your vibration up, uh, particularly with children. Okay, because who do you think needs more love right now than our children? Right? Children look towards the adult community, okay, for love and protection. And the one thing that I know that protects and keeps children to remember and know what love is because the adult community loves them because everything that happened and why we are here is what they did to our children. When I watch children with their parents and families that are so excited and having so much fun, you have no idea what that does to light my heart wheel up. And that's where, in my 